Bob Orr in Washington has been talking to his law enforcement and aviation sources. And Bob, what more do we know now about the two passengers who boarded this flight with stolen passports? Well, Scott, it turns out those two men you're talking about have now been identified as Iranians with no apparent ties to any terror group. These are their pictures. Instead, investigators say they were ultimately seeking safe refuge in Europe. They went through an Iranian middleman to buy tickets for flights first from Malaysia through Beijing and then on to Frankfurt in one case and Copenhagen in the other. The men flew from Doha, that's in Qatar, to Malaysia using legitimate Iranian passports. And then it gets interesting. They picked up the stolen passports there and used those to board the doomed flight. And Bob, there are some U.S. investigators involved in the case. How much are they being told? Well, not a great deal. The Malaysians are making it clear they're firmly in control of the investigation and they're trying to keep it close hold. They're being very selective, Scott, about what they're sharing with the U.S. and other authorities. As you mentioned, the FBI's there, FAA, NTSB. They've all sent representatives and they've all offered to help. But so far, the Americans are not officially invited inside the investigation. Now, once the wreckage is found and those black boxes are recovered, it's very likely veteran U.S. crash investigators will have some kind of role. And we need to note, of course, that Boeing is already involved since it's a Boeing airplane that's missing. Bob, thank you.